there, everybody. Welcome back to Grandma's Corner 2020. And you have been watching a series of videos, hopefully, after subscribing, of course, about what to do with good old toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls. Remember that box of rolls I've been collecting from all the neighbors and family and friends? Well, most of you probably recycle them, hopefully, but if you want to know about what you can do with these great rolls, I've got more ideas for you. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is this very cool personal organizer. So I spent a lot of time spray painting each one of these toilet paper rolls. I didn't do them individually. I glued them actually together first and then I sprayed all of those um, toilet paper rolls with the very dark green that I had. And then I took paper towel rolls and I made the roof. And then over the roof, I went ahead and I put some of those branches that I've been collecting. And then I found some of these cool, cool seed pods. I think they come from Liquid Ambers, and I glued some of them on there, and I thought, wow, what a cool thing to be able to put on somebody's desk, and you can organize your pens and pencils and your scissors, and if you have paint brushes, crayons, uh, erasers, anything else that you have that you like to keep nice and orderly. I noticed that what I had done here is I had taken some of light colored of the colored pencils and maybe if you want to pick a particular tone of the red or the pink you can choose from all of them rather than having to dig in a bag and they're all here in one spot. So there is no back to it so just to show you, the back is open, but I suppose if you want to put a back on it, you can. If you have this on a desk and maybe up against the wall, then that would create a back for you. Otherwise, having them just sit in each of the slots is kind of cool. So that is one big project that you can do. Obviously, you're going to need a lot of toilet paper, and you're going to need several rolls of the paper inside of the paper towel, paper towels. So uh, don't be emptying the toilet paper, but collect them with the idea that maybe down the road, excuse me, you're going to want to do a project like this. All right. <coughs> excuse me. I got a little cough there. I'm going to put that off to the side so I don't knock that over. <clears throat> and my next project is, you know how you have, oh, wrapping paper rolls and sometimes they get all willy-nilly and you try to store them away nicely and they come unraveled. Well, you can easily take a paper towel roll, you cut it down the center and what I did is I squeezed it together and I made the diameter smaller so if I put this around now this loosey-goosey paper then it's going to hold it in place and you're not going to have to worry about your wrapping paper coming undone getting ripped and creating a problem so if that is a cool little invention there. I can't take credit for it. I stole the idea, but it works. So I'm going to put that off to the side. All right. Next, another great option for toilet paper rolls is to organize your electrical cords. Now I went and I looked in the drawer where I keep my electrical cords and they were all jammed in there together. I had a heck of a time getting them out. Sometimes what I've done in the past is I will wrap them around like this, but you know, it's not really good for the cord to wrap so many times like that, a small wrap, because the little wires on the inside tend to break. So if you can keep your cord with loops about this big, I think that that is a better bet. So I'm gonna go ahead and redo this one 
and hopefully I'll be able to get it inside this toilet paper roll. Sometimes you have to talk to it really nicely and encourage it to go in. And voila, now I've got a nice roll of paper that is keeping this together without having to wrap it up so tightly that the wires inside when you wrap it around this way, it's a very small diameter and they tend to break. So this is a much better way of storing all of your electrical cords. So how cool is that one? All right, let's see what's next. Oh, I have to tell you, I have been working on this project for quite some time and it is something I'm actually kind of proud of. Look at this. You might have a hard time seeing that only because there's nothing in the back other than my face to really show you what a beautiful design this ended up being. And you get to be creative with all of these shapes. These are nothing more than taking a toilet paper roll where are my handy dandy scissors? There they are. And you just decide how deep you want them. I did it where I got three pieces out of each roll. So these three pieces now became part of this big wall hanging that I created. So you can see here in the middle, I started off with it just being a circle, like a regular toilet paper roll is. And then I built off of it. And sometimes I would change the shape of these, which is really cool to do. They could be round, they could be more narrow and leaf-like. You could have one end round and you can have one end pointed. It just kind of depends on what you want to do. And you can see my shapes are kind of going every which way. And then I decided to carry on this almost like a branch. And then I took it outside and I spray painted it. So it is a very dark green. This happens to be a green that I have on furniture and I had leftover cans of dark green. And so I painted it. You are gonna have to paint it from several angles only because of all the little nooks and crannies. But what a great project that you can put up in a bathroom or in a bedroom. You could even be creative and you can put little tiny figurines on here, maybe jewelry, rings, whatever. Use your imagination. So after I did that one, I said, well, what can I do with a piece of recycled plastic. And so this is a hummus container, whoopsie. And I cleaned it out obviously. And that was the focus of this project. And I put a hole here with a nail and then that way I can hang it up when I'm ready to. And I just built, again, I cut my toilet paper into my tape, toilet paper roll into different widths. So some of them are this wide and then some of them I went ahead and I cut in half again. So now they become this wide so you can see the difference. So that gave me more texture. Here are the skinny ones, here are the fatter ones. And how cool is that? I did not paint this yet because I'm trying to decide what I want to do with it. But what a great way to display maybe a lovely picture. Again, a little knickknack you can put in there and it can go right on the wall. So here it is from this angle. Here it is from the front. And that was just using a hummus container as my center building around it. So two great projects that you can do yourselves by just collecting all kinds of toilet paper rolls. All right, my last project is going to be a bird feeder. So 
get yourself a toilet paper roll you don't need to decorate it because you're going to be putting peanut butter all over it and you're going to have your hole punch and you've got to get some holes in there first of all you need two holes at the top that's going to be for your hanger then you need four holes on the bottom but here's the tricky part you see this hole here how it's higher than this one you're going to be putting sticks through these holes and if you have them exactly in the same spot they won't be able to cross each other so these two holes are a little bit taller or a little bit higher up than this hole and the one in the back so as you can see i will now be able to put both of these sticks in which are going to be the perches for the birds to sit on because the bird has to have a perch right all right now at this point I got myself some peanut butter. It doesn't have to be organic. Get the cheapy stuff. Maybe even the dollar store has some. I already cut my yarn to hang it, and I went ahead and put some peanut butter in this bowl so I don't have to taint this one with bad juju, bad germs. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover this with peanut butter. It's going to be a messy, messy job, so... Be aware, make sure that your space that you have to do this project is a space where you don't mind getting gooey and ooey because it's gonna get gooey and ooey. I'm sticking my fingers inside the hole and that's what I'm using to hold this. And that way I'm not getting peanut butter all over. After you get the peanut butter on, then you're gonna sprinkle the bird seed so you definitely want to get yourself some bird seed ready before you start putting the peanut butter on you don't want to get in the middle of a project and go oh whoopsie so here's my bird seed right here Ooh, i've got a lot on here the last one i did the video on making the pine cone peanut butter and bird seed bird feeder oh my gosh the scrub jays absolutely loved it and that picture was right outside my kitchen window of the scrub jay having lunch. Okay, now I've got a good amount of peanut butter on there. That is crazy, crazy. Maybe not so much. Now, I'm gonna put this off to the side and I'm gonna now get my bird seed on there. Woohoo! Give it a good coating. Oh my gosh, I can feel it going in my lap. Yeah, this is definitely an outdoor project. Oh, birds are going to love this. All right, I'm going to sit that right there. And now I am going to put my yarn in here. And this baby's going outside because I hear some hungry birds out there who are going to be so happy to have a peanut butter and bird seed feeder. Well, thank you for joining me and come back for yet another video on more things to do with paper towel rolls and toilet paper rolls. The ideas are endless. Have a great evening. Thank you for subscribing and you have a good day. Tweet, 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 tweet. Bye-bye. <laughs>